the Detroit Lions injury report going up against Tennessee tomorrow. Let's talk Lions. Thank you for liking, for commenting, and subscribing. It's been a strange week with the Stafford injury. The Lions made it very clear. We're not going to let you know what's about to happen until the very end. It's kind of like anytime you watch some sort of cop show, and then one of the guys does the breakdown at the end of the show, and they're like, when this happened, that happened, this happened, that happened, and you're like, oh, too bad I missed it the whole time. That's what this is. Stafford is questionable. That's just the end. They made it very clear. The Lions made it very clear. We're not going to say anything about Stafford until the last second. So he is questionable. What's probably going to happen is Stafford is going to run out there four hours before the game, two hours before the game, throw the ball, and then be able to be like, yeah, I could take a few shots or just be like, nah, it's not worth it. Something that we all know about Stafford is because of how tough he is as an individual. The guy is, he, he really is hard as nails. He needs somebody to look at him and be like, no, you look off. You look like you're grimacing. You're in pain. You can't play. Otherwise, Stafford is the type of guy who's just going to play. He gives everything for this city. He gives everything in order to play on a Sunday. So really, we're not going to know anything about Stafford until two hours before the game when he does his warm-ups and he's like, oh, I feel like Oscar the Grouch living in a trash can. I feel terrible. Stafford is the type of guy who will play through anything. So as of right now, he is still questionable against the Titans. I'm not holding my breath. A, I can't hold it that long. B, I don't think he's going to play. I think we'll sit him this week. We'll see how it goes. And hey, if we get blown out, maybe he comes back out next week, plays the last two games, or maybe he goes Kenny Galladay on us and sits for the rest of the season. Speaking of which, Kenny Galladay is still out. I mean, we are not going to see him for the rest of the season. My assumption, my guess, if you will. I do not expect to see Galladay again for the rest of the season. And we are definitely not seeing him against Tennessee. Sounds like Galladay has had a couple setbacks. He's gotten out there, tried to practice a few times since Thanksgiving, and it just hasn't taken. Sounds like the injury is bigger than what it was perceived to be. That's why we never put him on the IR. There was the, we expect you to get better. He expected to get better, and it just hasn't happened. And so... There it is. From their defensive tackle, Deshaun Hand is out. What a surprise. Also, Daryl Roberts will be out, thinning out our cornerback depth once again. Also, two other notable injuries are our center, Frank Ragnow. He has a throat injury. He has been ruled out. And also, defensive tackle, Penasini, which is a real bummer because I feel like Penasini has been making a ton of of progress this year a lot a lot of strides a lot of progress he has been looking better and better each week he had a great game two weeks ago against Chicago it's been cool to see Penasini really grow this season I love the guy I think he's phenomenal out there so that is going to hurt us on the defensive side but Everson Griffin is back in action like every Tom Cruise movie just they're always action movies every one of them is that all he can do? Is that all the man can do? I think that's all the man can do. So there is our injury report rolling into tomorrow. Should be interesting. Obviously, without Stafford, you can check out my pregame video. I don't think we have a chance without him. So there is the aspect of me that's like, man, I really hope the guy is able to, to run out there and, and play because it'll make it a shootout. It'll make it a fun game. It'll probably be upper 30s on both sides of the ball. That would be fun. But I don't want to see him get any more injured than he already is. Probably going to need you next year, Stafford. I don't believe we are going to let him go. We'll probably draft a QB. But hey, you know what? That's a whole nother talk that we'll get to later this week. So until then, enjoy the game tomorrow, Lions fans, as best you can. Just accept the fact that, you know what? During a pandemic, we get to watch football. Even if we lose, we get some football. So there's some silver lining in that